let's talk about how to read my lecture decks. So um, first thing is on uh, beginning of all lecture decks, I have a set of 16 slides which talks about them themselves, but I'm going to go ahead and talk about it to you verbally so you have an understanding and you could just skip those 16 slides every time you open up my file. Okay, so the first and foremost thing here is uh, I want you to look at three uh, topics right now. The first topic is extremely important. Make sure you look at the notes section of each slide when viewing the slides of the lecture deck. So it's not enough to just look at the slides with the visuals and everything. You also need to look at the notes. And let me show you how to do that effectively. So right now you can, as you can see, you have the outline view, which is um, the slides right here. You got the uh, notes right there on the bottom and a navigation window off to the side. The best view I think for anyone who wants to look at the slides and read the notes is to go to the notes page. And basically it looks like a book where every page is a lecture, the picture of the lecture slide up on top. And then the bottom half will just have the list of notes on the bottom. That's probably the best view I can recommend. And I recommend uh, thus everybody look at my lecture with this sort of view. But if you want to look at it with the normal view as well, that's totally fine. Okay, let's go back. So that was the most important uh, topic to discuss is that you want to look at the notes section of all of my lecture slides as well as going through my lecture. Basically, the notes is like a transcript for what I would say if I were in front of you in class. Next is um, generally every term I have six or seven lecture decks. Within each lecture deck is um, the lecture title page, sections, um, subsections, and just topics. So let's go ahead and look at what a lecture title page looks like. So this is a lecture deck on measurements. So this is the lecture title page. Um, from there, you got many subsec uh, many sections like coordinate systems and symbols and units and whatnot. But let's go down to one example so I could show other uh, levels of information. Um, I also have a sub uh, section on vectors. Now, within my measurements lecture deck, I have many sections, one of them being vectors. Within the vectors section, I have subsections like representing vectors and vector addition. So these are subsections and they will look like these kinds of slides where you have the section title in gray and then the subsection in bold black letters. Within each subsection are just different topics for these slides. So like scalar versus vectors and representing vectors and whatnot. And often enough, I will have also pictures um, which have a picture title on the bottom. So there would just be a huge picture on the slide with um, a kind of little caption on the bottom. So that's the levels of information. Again, I have a lecture title page. I have the section, subsection, and uh, the topic. Okay. Uh, next thing I want to discuss, uh, here we go, is each slide is colored uh, based on the function. So white slides are lecture slides, but then when you go into um, slides like red slides, they're basically discussion and debate slides. Now, if we're in a face-to-face -face class or a remote online class with the Zoom meeting, I would break you up into groups or breakout rooms and you would discuss it with your partner. If you're reading this by yourself, um, you would just talk with your family member, talk with a friend, or you could just think about it and ponder about it for a little bit. Uh, then you got activity slides, which are orange. They kind of make you interact with the environment. Um, these are not so common, but um, when you do see one, feel free to uh, take note and you can at least ponder it or look at it or interact with the environment with a friend. These are lecture quizzes. Uh, basically, the, so these yellow slides are quizzes in the middle of lectures to test your understanding. They're not gonna be uh, nearly as hard as tests, but they're there to just uh, gauge an understanding, see where you're at in the lecture. Then you got quantitative practice problems, which are green slides. Now these are uh, slides that require math in order to solve. So they're gonna be a bit more in depth. But don't you worry because of all my lectures, I will have videos 
or at least I'll have an answer guide in the following slide from the question. So um, essentially all slides should have the question and the answers in the next slide, and at least how to solve for them. Uh, blue slides are fun facts, demonstration, and interactive material. So they're basically just videos and um, just demonstrations if we were in a face-to-face -face class. Uh, you got purple slides being announcements. Now, just so you know, you don't really need to see the colors of these slides, but these colors are just to help you understand what kind of slides they are. Um, but they will be obvious once we actually get into the lecture, which ones are announcements, which ones are demonstrations, which ones are quantitative problems and so forth. Um, if you see a slide that is gray or beige, don't worry about those. Those are just for my own personal benefit as a teacher. Okay, well, there you go. Um, uh, that is the end of this particular spiel. Again, most importantly, make sure you read the notes as well as the slides themselves. Good luck.